Single player selected. Loading pug. It's taking its time. <laughs> Much like a queue at a hospital. And welcome, friends. Welcome. This is Pugman and Chip Pants. Hey. And you're watching Pugman Plays. And welcome, friends. It's a two point hospital. Yeah. Released in 2018 for the PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. It's basically a single player hospital simulation developed by Two Point Studios. Now, Two Point Studios consists of a duo by the names of Mark Webley, who is a producer, and artist Gary Carr. Mm -hmm. And these are both ex-Bullfrog employees. If you don't know Bullfrog friends, they are one of the best, or well, one of the best game developers back in the day. They worked on games such as Dungeon Keeper, Populous, Populous 2, Power Munger, Goddess, Black and White and the spiritual successor to this game, Theme Hospital, which was released all the way back in 1997. So without further ado, friends, go grab your sandwich and drink, sit back and relax while Chip Pants, you take us through this game because you've been playing this a fair bit. I have, You yes. wanted to showcase this game. Um, did you play the original Theme Hospital? No, I haven't, but uh, playing this makes me want to take a step back and see where it all came from, what inspired this, because it's a beautiful game. I thought you did play the original Fame Hospital, no? I don't I don't remember it, if I did. But then again, my memory's like a goldfish. I think I need to check myself into my own hospital and see what's up with <laughs> me. <laughs> Alright friends, without further ado, go grab a sandwich and drink, sit back, relax while Chip Pants takes us through Two Point Hospital. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be... Uh... Probably like an episode of Casualty. <laughs> what? No, think house, people, okay? <laughs> no, I'm thinking Casualty. <laughs> Alright, friends. Let's play. Let's have a look here. Um, you got nine million dollars, ship hands. I'm uh, shocked already. I thought that had been a negative nine million. <laughs> I don't know how much of that is loans, but I still, I do have that, exactly. Okay, so how much of the game have you played? I've played a couple of hospitals. Let me show you guys. About three or four hospitals, and um, the more you play, the more it just opens up for you. And, um, let's see. Mitton like University. Started off down here, and okay. just kind of worked my way down. And uh, I'll let you decide, Pugman, which one I open up next. Uh, I think we've got four choices. This one... Looks like a little residential, little small. Okay, yeah. Seems university. pretty straightforward and simple. Each one as well um, opens up new aspects um, uh, as far as maybe staff training or um, property building. And uh, so I don't know what these new hospitals will open up for. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm assuming that each area has a different... Um, We've got a crop circle over here, people. Motor. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> Can we do that one then? Uh, I, let's try this one. Yeah, I wonder if that's connected oh, to okay. this little it might farm. Not be. <laughs> yeah, so this is Tumble. Tumble. And, uh, all right, looks like a little, little, little country hospital. Why not? Let's get down into it. Treat all manner of breaks and bruises. Okay, let's see what this one has to offer. Welcome to Tumble. This is a small town that attracts tourists from all across the county to climb Tumble Ridge and hike along the Tumble Downs. Lucky for us, this generates hundreds of fractured bones each year. Cha ching! We need to build a fracture ward to deal with these injuries. I recommend building a standard ward and other essentials too. Make sure to keep everyone warm with some radiators. That's kind of new for me. One of my first hospitals, you didn't have to worry about keeping people warm, but I guess this one we will. Tumble has been known to experience seismic activity, so look out for oh. earthquake warnings. We'll need janitors ready to deal with any damage. 
Oh, that's cool. So you have like uh, natural disasters. We got a whole staff uh, to manage here too, Pug. Oh, look at this. Okay, a little helipad in case somebody gets flown in. I'm just going to get a quick lay of the land. This blue area here is going to be the areas that we can build in. And usually we can buy more in surrounding areas, but I don't see any other plots that we can purchase right now. So we're just going to have to maximize space and really, um, really crunch things in. Okay, normally you can buy more plots of land to exactly. build out further. Okay. Just keep people happy. <laughs> that is the name of the game here. I, if you do that, this. Uh... It's like no hospital I've been to. <laughs> Keeping people happy. Uh, okay. All right. Let's see. It looks... You know what's strange about this one, Pug? It looks like this door is on back to front. Patience. No. You know, it's, it? it's fine. You know, I think I'm just seeing things. Anyway. Maybe your head's on back to front, shit pants. Could, could that be it? <sighs> All right. First thing. I think you should be the first client into the hospital. <laughs> what we got to do, people... We gotta, um, these are all the rooms that we can build and uh, areas. We, I, I basically want one of each of these to, uh, to get us going. But one thing that they specifically mentioned in this challenge was to build a fracture ward. So don't let me forget that, Pugman. We'll have to worry okay. about that. But what every hospital needs is a reception. Look on that. Oh no, we've Ooh. already got our first people. I'm not ready for this. I'm thinking about hitting pause here, Pug. Okay. Oh, that's already making me nervous. I, I I get real antsy about people waiting for me, Pug. Why, why Chipper? Any anybody that flies in by hospital must be VIP. <laughs> Don't worry okay. about. All right. Um. Just because of the shape as well. Oh, what what are we gonna do? All right, we're just gonna get stuck in. Well, that's kind of big. <laughs> I would start that big. This is basically just a front desk here. couple of reception desks and um, I think that's all I'm going to build right now all of these things over here are what you can build with each of your rooms most of them it, uh, it'll if you hover over them it'll tell you what specifically this adds like this sweet sweet dispenser it reduces hunger in your hospital your plants will increase your hospital attractiveness and so on and so forth um, some of these are locked, and uh, in order to unlock them, if you see over there to the right, it says to unlock it, you'll need a K10. K is uh, kudos points. Over here at the bottom right is how many kudos points that you have, and by completing challenges, you'll earn more kudos points. Okay. All right, so reception done, but we don't have anybody to man this. We gotta hire some people. We gotta hire some staff. Assistants are the ones that run the uh, reception area, but these are all the staff that you... Can we trust them? <laughs> the, the Can we trust the guy with the Fred Freddie Mercury beard? <laughs> he's actually pretty qualified, it looks like, and he's not bad price either, okay. so I, that's probably exactly who I'd hire. But... Um, these are just the four different types of staff that you can hire. Your doctors, nurses, assistants, and your janitors. And um, the assistants don't do much. They pretty much just run your gift shops and um, uh, your reception offices. So you can't go wrong with them. All right, so we got him going. Now, um, I don't know what he's going to have a problem with. Um, as soon as they come into the office, they'll start off at reception, and uh, then people, they're going to go to a GP office in order to get diagnosed. Okay, do you normally build while it's paused? Yes, I do. Okay, so you, it's kind of like a cheat, or you'd say that's about normal? That's normal, because okay. I don't want them waiting around. The longer they wait, the more ticked off they'll yeah, get. Yeah, I suppose it, it makes sense, because you wouldn't come to a hospital that is basically has no nobody in it. Exactly. I am building right now my GP's office. Um, I think I can do a hallway down the middle here, so I, that's that's the way I'm going to angle it for now. 
it's giving you everything you need in order to make this room complete. It needs a desk with a file cabinet and a door and you're ready to go. All decorations and things to make the, these rooms uh, fancy later, we'll, we'll get to that. So uh, we've got our first GP office in order to uh, get that finally going. We need a doctor, people. Our first doctor. What do you think, Pug? I think... Um, Keep in I... mind, this is how much money we're starting off with, too, so... I would have gone with Quinton Parker, because he looks like he's got the skills and he looks the most wise out of them. <laughs> Winston Rampart looks like he's still going to have pen marks on his hand. Also, look at their skills here. These are the things that they already come equipped with, but they're open slots. This means that uh, what we can train them in later, specifically. So we'll keep that in mind. So even though he's not very qualified, um, he yeah, he's a bit old to be not very qualified, Chip Pants. I, I wouldn't trust old Pat. But he's cheap, and we can always train him up later. But you think? Uh, yeah, but he's getting to that point where he's going to be a patient <laughs> in the hospital. <sighs> okay, we got a GP office, and um, let's just see what this guy's ailment is, what he starts off with, and then that's going to tell us what we need to build. Oh, he's coughing. He's all, Why is he already coughing? These bloody old shit pants. He shouldn't be coughing. He's the doctor. <laughs> Which, let's, let's see who we, who we got here. We can keep an eye on our patient. The animations are lovely. He looks good, too. Oh, he's already diagnosed. What's he diagnosed Excuse with? Please be alert. Okay. Our doctors have discovered a new illness. Uh, Portis head? Portis head. Portis head affects both body and mind, once thought to be caused by proximity to sea air. It's now known to be chiefly caused by living in Portis head. The patient is seeking treatment will need a ward in order to treat them. All right. We can either send the patient home or get them to wait while we build this uh, specific room to treat this patient. I'm going to get them to wait because it's just going to be so, so quick to build it. Is there a disadvantage to sending them home? Oh, well, uh, we'll decrease our reputation. Okay. So we don't want that. Um, the better the reputation, the more our um, patients will want to come here. Now, what I'm thinking right now is that... Um, I think I'd like to put the ward over here because it's kind of a bigger room uh, than the rest of them. All right, a oh, ward. This is basically this is where your hospital beds are going to be in. See how big that is? That is big. Doesn't seem that big. To me, it is. I'm really nervous about how small this space is, people. Okay. I'm going to let it uh, this dictate what we need. All right, so that's your desk for your ward. So cute. And this is your changing room. Your patient's got to get changed in your hospital bed. Yep. You think that's a big ward if it's about two beds? Oh, you're squeezing them right in. Oh, that. I, I usually like to have a bigger ward. That's good. So that one can smell the feet of the other person there, <laughs> right? Is that how we're working this out? That's how we're working yeah, this out. Yeah, good. Dang, that is so small, isn't it? You know what? What if I spin? You can spin these around, which is great. I guess not. I wonder... By doing that... Does that work? Yeah, Damn. it kind of looks like a messed up ward, but yeah, it hey, works. I'm, it works in Chip ward, Pants huh? Hospital. <laughs> okay. It's warning us that our ward needs a nurse. We gotta hire one, Pug. I I'm gonna make you my uh, HR manager. Right. You're gonna help me hire these people. I think we should have... Now, look at their skills here, Pug. This yep. one's got the motivation. Yep. Increased speed and efficiency. Yep. He's got good treatment skills. And he's got a good diagnostic. Jacinta... He's a good trainer for other people and pharmacy management. Pharmacy is a different room. It doesn't have anything to do with award. Diagnosis. I would have gone with Ernest. Ernest? I agree. Ernest, get to work. He's got a long way to travel. 
Is everybody enjoying that music? Two Point Hospital has their own DJ and radio oh. station. Oh, so he's getting changed, getting ready for bed. <laughs> he's going to be treated, Pug. Well, we can see we can peek here. Will we better get a peek? I don't know if I want a peek. <laughs> He's not taking his cap off, though. Everybody see his bum? You can see <laughs> no. the bump through the hospital. Oh, they're cold. Did you just everybody see that sign? That little uh, snowflake, it means that they're cold. We're going to buy a little radiator in here. It, it gives the room temperature as well. Where did it say they were cold? A little frost uh, appeared above their head. A little snowflake. What about the back wall? Okay. That's good spot. Warms up the room a little bit. It's still kind of chilly over here. Oh, it's mapping out the area. I see mm -hmm. that. It's not the best spot for it. I wonder. You know what? Right there. Wow. Yeah, I wonder that if that's is, gonna block that it. That is one messed up hospital <laughs> room. I wonder if that's gonna block their bed. We'll find out later. <laughs> Is somebody else arrived? Oh, more people arriving. Oh my gosh, we've got tons of customers. Customers? Oh, fracture You're a proper little businesswoman, aren't you, Chip Pants? Dang it, They're not people. patients, they're customers. They are customers. They're, they're, they're money-making machines, come on. Oh, okay, we need a fracture ward, people. You probably hired somebody outside to go around breaking legs, didn't you, Chip Pants? <laughs> don't tell anybody about that, pub. Gosh, this fracture ward is huge. We're keeping that there. Gonna make it kind of the same as our um, regular ward over there. What on earth is that? I've never had a fracture ward, Pugman. I wonder what that. Okay. Flipping what... out. What needs to run Looks this like one? Like something out of Star Trek. Another nurse. Okay, let's hire another one. I don't want to spread my people out. What do you think, Pugman? Uh... We only get a new applicant in two days. Let's uh, do Ellie. Ellie it is. Go on, Ellie. Do your thing. So we've got a fair bit of money, I guess. I assume you can take out loans in a game? Yes, I can. Um, a lot of people are waiting here. How about we get some entertainment for these people? <laughs> entertainment? What kind of entertainment? Oh, and vending machines, Pug Man. We got people get hungry, you know. Mm, yeah, you need, you need the snacks. Let's get a burp machine and a snack a burp machine. machine. That's what they're called. <laughs> You're listening to Nigel Bickleworth. Cheesy Cubans and salty On snacks. Two point radio. That's if a perfect little cubby hole for that. <laughs> and people are messy, so they need a bit. For wonky ankle syndrome. I like the radio. The involves transplanting the foot of an athlete to the patient. Oh, we got a fracture. Oh, what's going on here? here? Treatment for athlete's foot might be. What is she gonna do to him? Got to keep an eye on her. Make sure she knows how to do her job. Oh, we got people outside queue in here, Pug, too. Oh, loads of people have a cough chip pants. That's not a good sign. Is he just going to hang out in there? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, well, while they're waiting, what kind of bench do you like, Pug? we got to get some style oh, here. I like the sophisticated bench chip pants. Sophisticated it is. We can't have people waiting. Let's we'll have them have, take a little seat. Well, he's got a ch he's chili chip pants. Oh, they're chilly? Okay, let's move on. The guy them up. outside. Yeah, oh. some of your patients are freezing. Okay, okay, okay. I'll warm you up. Let's get some more benches. We can't have anybody wait. I take it you can make it too hot. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so, what color are you looking for? The yellow? Yes. And if you're not sure how your temperature is doing, you can just hover. <laughs> did you hear that? Oh, I did hear that. There we go. Let me show you how. There you go. So you can see how we're doing on warmth. This room is ice cold. Let's heat that up a little. Oh, and I bet you our general practitioner is a little cold. Let's warm him up, too. 
there is a lot of people queuing outside this room. I'm thinking maybe we should have, maybe we should have made this even bigger or make a second room. Dang. So you'd fit more machines in there, is I, it? I, I wonder, Pug. That's what, I've never had this room before, so let's just see. You can have another traction bed in here. Ugh, so it is just like our ward. You know what? We're gonna make a bigger room here. I wonder... Oh, dang. Ooh, that can go there. How about that? It's kind of ugly, but that works, right? Yeah, it, it, it's consistent with the rest of the hospital. What was that? It blew them out of the, the room, I think, didn't it? Um, I wonder if they're going to get mad about that. Oh, our cure rate. So, ultimately, we want a three-star hospital pug. And in order to get our first star, we've yeah. got to cure 50 okay. patients and uh, increase their comfort level. Right now, it's only at 38%. we got to get it up to 60. Let's get, it, let's get a little bit warmer in here. That should be warm enough, right? Looks good to me. I don't like a room too warm. I can't breathe. <laughs> Stuff's up my nose. Fair enough. I'd rather be cold. What would you rather be, people? Would you rather be too cold or too hot? I would always take... I'd rather be too cold because you can. it's easier to get hot mm. than it is to get cool. I know what's going to make Pugman uh, forget all about cold and hot. Go on. Oh, is that a video game, Shit Pants? What's it called? The Endless Arcade Machine. Oh, that sounds like a proper credit gobbler. <laughs> He's happy. <laughs> <laughs> and he spent five bucks on if it. If I knew there was arcades in a hospital, I'd just be going into the hospital without any ail ailments. <laughs> oh, look, we've got three patients in here already. This, this reward is going to be cooking, people. Okay. <laughs> A new illness has been discovered, bog warts, and the way to treat them is with a pharmacy. We're going to have them wait while we build it. Okay. Where do we think our pharmacy should be, Pugman? It's probably going to be a small little room like this guy. These guys have police sirens above their heads. <laughs> These are the challenge that's just come in, Pug. Okay. And the, uh, if we don't Whoa, cure them in a lot time, of them. Look, uh, what the hell have they been doing? They've been testing the jetpacks, Pug. They need to hurry up and get out of this bed. This guy needs to wait. This is also something great, that if we do get a challenge and the people waiting for this ward, we can uh, speed them up in the line so we don't fail the challenge. All right, good. Get out. Go home. From the makers of Never I see you can, like, um... Decide who gets treated and who doesn't. Exactly. That's cool. Oh, they hopped out fresh. No more cast on them. Well Alright. What is that? Oh my gosh. Oh, are you kidding me, shit okay. pants? Emergency. And oh, and he slipped. <laughs> Flip me? <laughs> He slipped on it. Okay. Why is there a turd in the middle of the floor? This is the this is the age old question. This is, and the age old solution is a toilet. <laughs> we gotta have a janitor oh, clean pants. that up on the dump. Your hospital. That's something else. HR manager, why haven't you hired a janitor? I've been we to some crappy hospitals in the past, but <laughs> never have I seen somebody slip on a turd before. That's disgusting. Hire us a janitor, Pugman. Who looks good? Um, let's get old Scotty Damp. Scotty Damp. Clean that up, Scotty. And we need a bathroom. Okay, where should we put our bathroom? Mm, let's put it... Let's see if we can squeeze one in right behind reception. That'd be a nice central spot for our... Yeah, because there's nothing like coming into a hospital and smelling the toilet. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pug. That's just where it's going to go. Uh, you know what? I think that's going to be too small. And there's going to be no way for them to get behind it. Dang. Okay. 
All right, right up front. This is where it's going. I'm gonna have to start getting tight on space here too. Flipping out, chip pants. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So it's just gonna have to happen. This is just gonna have to be an alleyway back here. Nothing goes back here. That is ugly. That is truly ugly. Yeah, this hospital's always pretty ugly. Will that work? That is, oh, that is dreadful, isn't it? But I think it'll maximize space. Let's do that. Okay, we need a couple of stalls. This is an emergency. We've got poop in emergencies around here. With that, three of them. Nice, nice, nice. We gotta have a sink. And a, maybe a hand dryer. Let's go. Cool. And Are they just for show, or do they actually do something? Yeah, that's a good question. I've never actually seen anybody use it. But it increases the height <laughs> of the <laughs> that's, hospital. That's pretty realistic then, isn't it? <laughs> so everybody stop pooping on the floor and go there. Let's get back to that. He's still cleaning up that poke. That's gross. There we go, he just brushed it away. Ugh. There she do. Brush, okay. brush your poke into the floor. <laughs> We've got a, a staff challenge. At your Freddie Mercury. It would be great to work in a really spacious environment with lots of luxurious uh, luxury furnishings. It Something is Freddie Mercury. He wants a... He, he wants just, luxury furnishings, chip pants. He wants a level four room. I'm not. Of course he does. <laughs> that means decorating. We're not at that. We're not at that stage. Oh, of you, you rejected yet. Freddie Mercury chip pants. Maybe later we can worry about that. A lot of patients are queuing for services run by assistants, but they aren't any available. Assistance. I don't see anybody needing a assistance, but we'll it just hire some anyways, right? The attention of Moose, Who do you like, Pug? Um, a true what about Ginger Freddy Mercury? The <laughs> All right. If you enjoy crossing things, you simply must He's got um, increased happiness. There we he's, go. He's a happy guy. Emotional intelligence and that's, that's what we need skills. to cheer people up after they slips on a piece of shit on the floor. <laughs> Save and quit 